String access methods are string methods that are useful for accessing information about strings. For example, the char at method will return a character at the specified index. The length method will return the number of characters that a string has. Is empty will return true if the length is zero or false otherwise. The index of that will return the index of the first item it finds or negative one otherwise. And substring with the starting and ending index will return the substring from those indexes that you specified. And let me show you how all these methods work. So let's create a string called message and set it to I love Java programming. All right, so what can we find out about this string? So before we do anything, I want you guys to remember that a string is a sequence of characters starting at index number zero. So I'm gonna write a comment up here and this letter I is index zero, this blank space is index one, L is index two, O is index three, and so on. I'm just gonna quickly type these indexes for you right here. And you could see that, that there are a lot of characters in this string. So now, knowing what index every letter is at, we can quickly verify some information using these string access methods. Let's try this out system.out.println. Let's say message.char at zero. This basically says grab the first character of the string and we're printing it out to the screen. And we get the letter I. So we know that this J is at index seven from the comment above it. So let's print out character at seven. We get the capital J. So that's how that method works. Let's try something else system.out.println message.length and this is going to return the size of the array, the number of characters that's in it and there's 23. So there are 10 here, 20 there, then 1, 2, and 3. There are 23 total characters in I love Java programming. If you add another character in there like an exclamation mark, there should be 24 characters now it's changed to 24. The next example is the is empty method. So let's try that method out. I'm going to copy and paste this code and change dot length to is empty. And let's see what this returns. This returns false because it's not empty. But if I erase the entire string and made it an empty string, this is called an empty string in Java. Now I'm getting a runtime error because I'm trying to access the seventh element of the string which doesn't exist. So let's comment this out so it works and run the program. The length is zero and it's empty is now returning true. So let's change it back to I love Java programming and try out the next method. So let's do this system dot out dot print line message dot index of Notice there's a couple index of methods that we have to choose from. You can pass in an integer for an index, a string, an integer and a starting index to look at, and a string with a starting index. So let's try a couple different ways. Let's pass in the word Java. And this is going to return the index of where Java is located, and that is index 7. Let's find out the index of programming. So starting at index 12, it has the word programming. So we could type either programming or we could just type part of the word and it'll find where it begins at index 12 right there. So now let's try out the substring method by system.out.println message.substring starting at index 2 to print the word love out and ending at index 6. This will, I'm missing a parenthesis will print out the word love on the screen and there it is. So these are a few examples of the string access methods.